Officially day one of Power Tour. Yesterday we drove about 600 miles down here to Georgia, about 45 minutes away from Atlanta. Spent the night at Jacob's place here. My dad drove his Camaro with uh, my brother. I drove this down here. I picked Bryce up at the airport, what was it, Saturday? It's about three days ago now. And uh, he rode down here with me. So that was a fun drive. But before we even got here, we uh, had some shenanigans go down, so I'll throw some clips up of that right now. Oh, God, no! oh! If you guys want to see the full video on that civic donut thing um go check out sally speed shop youtube channel i don't know if the video will be out as of right now but should be up sometime soon i'd like to think so got the whole crew here um pretty cool seeing all these cars out in the front yard and uh like i said we got about a 45 minute drive to atlanta motor speedway but i think before we go there we're gonna meet up with some other people and have a nice little convoy there first stop of the day meet up with some other people and we're about to head out we gotta stop at the gas station and then uh to atlanta we go i got you sir all right we have made it to atlanta got registration up there and we are all about to head in there's jacob waving we got the whole squad here price left me i feel lonely now The other half is over there somewhere parked here in Atlanta. We actually made it inside the track, which is pretty sweet. So I think right now we're going to go ahead and uh, walk around and see the cars because it's probably be the only day this week we can actually see the cars because we'll be on the road the rest of the time. So not the most exciting of days, but uh, we'll take a peek here and uh, try to meet up with everyone else. about four passes on the autocross here and all those cones that are knocked down were from my uh, last pass because somebody was like just just hit it just hit it man i said nail it Na okay. nail it that, that's what it was nail it. so there was more tire smoke than actual cornering that last time but uh it was pretty fun first few passes were all right car understeers like crazy which be expected manual steering car but Give me one shocks, hold it pretty planted. It's got some body roll still. There was a couple other A bodies out here running a stock one. Um, that thing looked like it was almost gonna tip. So at least it better than that. Other than that, fun way to spend a few hours. And uh, I think that'll wrap it up for here actually at the track today.
much smoke from all these burnouts, the fire alarm in the hotel is going off. We've done burnouts at hotels for the past couple of years and I've never seen that. That's awesome. Alrighty, morning of day two. Did not film a whole lot yesterday, mainly because we were just trying to get stuff figured out and uh, catch up with everyone. Today, gonna film hopefully a lot more. We got a four and a half-ish hour drive, I think. I'm not totally sure how many miles it's actually gonna be, but got a pretty big group. All meeting here this morning and uh, hopefully head out soon. Everyone's just checking out uh, cars, making sure everything's good, but we got a pretty sweet lineup of a whole bunch of different vehicles here. Honestly, not too sure where we're at right now. Uh, about 45 minutes into the drive, I'd say we had some pretty standstill traffic, so we went on a little bit of a detour for probably another 45 minutes to an hour, through some cool back roads, hit the highway a little bit, and now we're back on the route. Um, so we got a bunch of cool different cars here. You can see that all the way down the line there, but our group got pretty split up, so Mike and Bryce are a couple cars up there. Uh, Jared and Joel in the blue F100 are right there. And then it's uh, me in the rear, so I've been sitting in this traffic for probably close to an hour now. Um, knock on wood, the car hasn't gone over 205, so I am pretty happy with that, uh, with the new cooling setup on it. I guess that's a good sign. LS is generally run fairly hot, like on the highway. Um, even on like a cool day, it runs at like 195. And uh, 205 right now, when it's probably 80 degrees out, I'd say, we're just sitting in standstill traffic. I'll take that, not too bad. So, I guess onward to figure out what's next. To the fairgrounds here in South Carolina. We've been here for, I don't know, maybe an hour or two now. Just walking around. People are starting to head out now. Pretty good lineup of cars. Everyone seems to be packing up. They got the dyno over here. Some folks are running on the dyno. It's pretty cool. Solomon and Craig are running in this F100 here. Jared and Joel were uh, in this one here, rolling with us today. So. This thing is stupid nice. I can't remember what year, but it's on a full Raptor chassis, and the cab is, I think it's stretched this way and this way, if I'm not mistaken, and it's really well done, so that, uh, this is a pretty sweet looking truck. It sounds good, and it looks cool rolling down the road, so I dig it. We're all parked over here right now, kind of waiting to head out. And uh, Kevin is over here and he's got his laptop set up. And currently, he's about 45 subscribers away from hitting a million. So, that'll be pretty cool to be here and witness that and see it. So we're all just kind of hanging out till that happens. And then we're gonna head to the hotel. I think a couple of us are at the same hotel. And I was told there is a nice straight street between the two hotels. So, I think uh, we're gonna do some decorating on that is what I was told. Well, yeah, this is pretty cool seeing all the cars here and everyone just hanging out. I guess this is a good spot to start off day three of Power Tour here. I totally forgot to film at the hotel this morning, but rolled out of the hotel. Uh, getting out of the parking lot going to the main street my oil pressure bumped up to like 85 90 I've never seen it go that high it just completely spiked up 
and then maybe half a mile later sitting at the stoplight it dropped down to four and i was getting pretty scared there so pulling into gas station we just changed the oil put some thicker oil in it um the oil pressure sensor i'm pretty sure is bad because it was reading negative one after we did that so right now it seems to be working fine just keeping a close eye on it don't hear any ticking or anything which is a, a good sign so pretty sure it's just a sensor there but that was that was a little scary for a minute so right now we're just pulled over on the side of the road here uh andrew's car just shut off so he's uh working on that helping him get it back up on the road what are you doing that's how you gotta tie your shoe when your shorts are too short when, when your shorts are too short yeah i can't bend over my got blood. booty shorts man yeah, sure. <laughs> Got all the cars parked, all lined up, waiting for a couple more people to come in. But it's a pretty cool parking spot, Thunder Alley in the background there. So that's awesome. Over there, though, I don't know if you can see, there is a wing car, K and K Daytona, and if I'm not mistaken, that might be a Marty Robbins Charger over there as well. So I think we're gonna go take a look at those things now. This is a pretty freaking cool way to cap off day three 18 band casually towing marty robbins charger oh my god this is so cool <laughs> see that is what i need on the duster and he's got a proper boom tube on it this is so sick but my favorite one well I'm slightly biased as you can tell this is beautiful too Man. This is so good. Just take a second and look at that. about the last people here so that is pretty cool it would be cool to do a lap but uh, the banking is pretty 
steep and I prefer not to starve the engine of oil even going through those corners. So I think we're just gonna uh, stay here for some pictures and then head on out. We might get some rain, which will be nice. To our destination this morning, which was Z Max Raceway, um, except for it's probably like 90 degrees out and there was like a mile long line to get in. We didn't really feel like waiting in that, it's still pretty early in the day, so hopefully, if we wait an hour or two, it'll die down. The car's doing good though, still hasn't gone above 205, which I'm pretty happy with. But right now, we are at Hendrick Motorsports looking through the museum, and uh, being a Hendrick fan, and a junior fan, and Chase fan. This is so cool to actually see in person here. anything today or yesterday I totally forgot to so I don't know where she's picking up but we are at the last stop here at Bristol Motor Speedway as you guys can see made it cars doing all good everyone else's car is all good and we somehow got in the infield here which was pretty awesome so it's all together a little video here for you guys all to see but this is pretty sweet we went to rockingham z max and now bristol with the duster last year we knocked off nashville and uh where else did we go i can't remember so this car has been to quite a few tracks now and, uh, we'll probably have to get out of here sometime soon. But that's going to wrap it up for this video from Bristol Motor Speedway here on uh, High Rod Power Tour 2023.